Whatever. Whoa! Yeah, look. We even destroyed the Leviathan. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, guys, another super quick video on raids. Like, this tusk cabin thing is nuts. So, for the first time I saw anyone do this, it was Ultravine. We were doing some hard raids for plastic, I think. And he said, can you take the Leviathan on your own? And I didn't understand what he meant. Um, but he bought his ram build out. And you can ram the towers, right? And you can ram the towers for, like, 16,000 damage if you hit it right. So, I'm doing Steel Cradle. It's not on hard, it's on normal, but it works on hard too. I'm just doing this because I've only got a couple of hours to, to do some YouTube stuff this morning and, and it, it was on. So, it does work on hard. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer. You're going to have to stay away from the bots a little bit more. But I just want to show you the concept. Um, and it doesn't matter if we're in normal or easy or whatever. Okay, so what you want to do... Um, it's just get the tusk charged to three so you want that triple damage coming from the cabin I've put my boosters. Oh, no. I accidentally put my boosters on the same group as a cloak Okay, that's just because I was messing around I was gonna put the boosters on them um, on left bumper right bumper so that I could save fuel But I ended up messing it up Okay, so we're charged to three, and we are gonna, before we've even got any of the charges, we hit it for 9,000. So, I think that's, yeah, it's just under half. So we're charged up to three, 10,000. Look, how quick was that? How quick was that? That was my phone. So that's one tower down in like next to no time. And what's cool about using the Tusk Cabin and boosters in raids is these little boxes refill your fuel. So how cool is that? You've got to be in the right game mode for that though. I'm going to miss it. No, I'm not. 7,000. So obviously, I do this in hard raids too. Um, and it is harder. 4,000 damage, look. Our team are still dealing with the bots and the gun. And we're going to have this tower. We need these guys to get out of the way, don't we? We're going to have this tower done. Oh, look, I didn't hit it with the cabin. Okay, come on. Get out of the way, bots. Get out of the way, man. Yeah, look, check it out. Second tower down. I'm not too worried about that because only only cab damage um, it's only if you hit the cab that the tusk does damage and the leviathans are pretty well armored ouch yeah I'm more worried about that one and we should be able to oh no I need to charge the tusk up again Boom! Is there anything that the Tusk can't do? Like, it can take out enemies, it can take out objectives in Steel Cradle, it can take out uh, Leviathans in, um, in Invasion, it can do Chase in like two minutes. Since I bought this cab, I haven't used any other weapons. In fact, there was a challenge for winning games with a machine gun, and I did it by just putting a Hornet on the top. I just got rid of two of the boosters. I didn't even use it. Like, it's insane. We're going to hope that our team doesn't get in the way. Whoa, 8,000 damage. Oh, my God. So, look, the Leviathan isn't even dead. Our team hasn't even got access to one of the charges. Oh, my God. So I accidentally boosted too much. So, we're going to be charged by three. 9,843 damage. Yeah, look. Super quick time. Okay, so we're going to charge, charge the, uh, charge the tusk up to three, and then we're going to hit the boost on the way to the tower. 
586 damage and we didn't have much of a run up and I'm not even sure that um, wow you can see through there cool Five hundred, one hundred, five thousand, one hundred twenty-eight damage, and then we'll take it out. Easy. Look. I want to see. Like I just, I just want to see this. No way. No way. You can get inside the spawn on this map. How cool. Can you drive through the walls? That would be so cool if you could drive through the walls. Come on, come on, come on. Are you going to make it to three before we hit the thing? No, you're not going to be on two. Still, look. 1,897 damage just by touching it with no boosts. Yeah, look. Our team's going to deal with the Leviathan pretty easy. So, we helped with all of the towers, right? And we took out a Drake. And I think this raid got done like five minutes quicker than it would normally because we're driving the rammer. So we need to come at it from this angle and hit it. 8,000. 3,500. 3,500. And then we're going to get it. Oh, yeah. Leviathan's over there. It's got it's got auto aim, like aim bot, whatever. Whoa, yeah! Look, we even destroyed the Leviathan. Yes, yes, yes. So steel cradle done in like what, like two minutes? How cool is that? Let me just check. I can see. Um, yeah, Steel Cradle, it was done in about five minutes, I think, because there was six minutes left on the raid. So it's about five minutes for Steel Cradle. But that used to take me ages, guys. So we destroyed all three towers basically solo. Um, we destroyed the Leviathan basically solo. And we didn't have any weapons, we just had the Tusk Cabin. Um, admittedly, on the Leviathan, we got, a, we got lucky because it was showing its cabin to me and I got a decent run up and stuff. Um, but still, the Tusk Cabin does it again. Um, another raid that you can farm with the Tusk Cabin without any weapons, without spending any coins, without buying any repair kits. It's just, this is the way to play Cross Out. Um, it's, it's fun, it's fast, it's crazy. Um, I'm loving it. Like, I haven't used a weapon since I bought the Tusk Cab. Anyway, so that was uh, how to do Steel Cradle like quicker than normal. I'm Son of Ups. If you liked it, hit the subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a comment. I always reply to all of those. I love getting those. If you've done that already and you're one of my subscribers, you know how much I love you guys. And until the next video, I will see you later.